Welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Well, how we communicate today is something that very few people could have imagined 40 years ago. Tying up phone lines when we couldn't be with our friend or our crush, racking up long distance charges or making prank calls without caller ID, writing love letters, receiving love letters, waiting days or maybe even weeks for a response. How mortifying. Going on actual blind dates, not knowing anything about the other person, especially how they looked. There was no Google, no Facebook, no Twitter, no Insta, no Snaps. There were no texts or pictures or videos. Now, everyone has one of these, and they're almost attached to us. And more than half of you get your Muddy River news and sports fixes on this. Thank you for that, by the way. But while it has made communicating easier, has it made it better? For example, working remotely is great. My day job is done from my home office the majority of the time. But with that flexibility comes some downsides. I miss the interaction and camaraderie, and some communications I've received are definitely less than relationship building. So it begs the question, are we more distant, not only in the physical sense, but also in the emotional sense? Even though technology exists to make us all more accessible, it seems like it may do the opposite in some areas. With less and less actual personal interaction in so many aspects of our lives, is it creating less compassion and more distance between one another? Take for example how we react and communicate with one another via email and on social media. Just because we can say it, should we say it? Is it something we would say if we were face to face with someone? Recently, there have been a lot of free speech discussions, especially regarding Facebook and Twitter, and even more so since Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion, billion with a B, to make it a free speech platform, in his words, to promote free and open speech on the service. When this news broke a few days ago, Musk joked, or people created fake tweets pretending to be Elon, about him buying some other things to make them better as well, like buying Coca-Cola and putting the cocaine back in it, or buying McDonald's to fix the ice cream machines, to which he then said, sorry, I'm not a, mir a miracle worker. Some of these ideas, if they are really coming from him, are part of the reason people tend to like and trust him. He seems to be the one rich dude who stands for what a lot of us stand for. And while I'm against censorship, we have to understand that freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequence. That's just not how it works. With freedom of speech comes great responsibility, especially since technology and social media platforms have given us all the opportunity, for better or for worse, to share information and, opin and opinions as if we are experts, scientists, athletes, world leaders, etc. I mean, I think we can all agree that the amount of BS regurgitated on social media is astounding. And what's even more astounding? People actually believe some of the BS is factual. If it fits our agenda, it has to be true, right? Or maybe it's just easier to believe everything we read rather than do actual research. But I digress. Freedom of speech is one thing, but please, for the love of all that's good in this world, think before you type. Just because it's easy to share, comment, react, etc., is it for the greater good? Is it something we would say to someone's face? Is it necessary? Is it kind? We all deserve the right to say what's on our mind and to make our own judgments. But we all have to remember to be respectful, responsible, and compassionate. Even with such immediate access to one another, it has somehow become easier to be distant forgetting that there is an actual person on the other end. It's kind of like the old rule, measure twice, cut once. Only now we need to add type twice, send once. And as far as Elon goes, I haven't really decided whether or not I trust his motives yet. Time will tell. Coming up, we'll talk to Beth McKenzie of the YNCA.
Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Joining us today is Beth McKenzie. Beth is the Wellness and Inclusion Director at the Quincy Family YMCA. Uh, Beth, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. So with uh, warmer weather basically happen happening overnight, uh, we think maybe it would be a good time to chat about everything the Y offers. And you, I know you guys have some, some new programs and uh, whether you're looking to buff up your summer bod or you are looking to find something uh, for the kiddos over the summer so they're not driving you insane. I know you guys kind of offer basically something for everybody. So. Yes, yes. Um, we are so excited about this summer because we have a lot of new offerings um, for people who are looking to get into shape. Um, I'm going to start with our outdoor activities that we have um, as, that include fitness. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, a mommy and me stroller fitness class okay. um, that's awesome. on Thursdays and we're going to meet at different parks and um, we have an instructor who is going to lead um, moms and their toddlers through exercises throughout our local parks enjoying the uh, fresh air. That's awesome. um, on site we have um, a walk fit class which is held outside of the YMCA as, and, as well as a warrior cross train class. Okay. Um, You'll do things like running hills and stairs and um, lifting weights and things like that. So it uh, awesome. gets people active outside. We have our, it's not new, but it's a very popular boot camp class, Mondays and Wednesdays in the evening. Um, and that again meets at local parks too. Um, so we have a lot of outdoor activities for people to try out um, looking to get a healthier lifestyle and get fit for the summer. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, hopefully, I think it's a, a little warm for me coming up the next few days, but hopefully the weather kind of levels out a bit and, and you get a lot of interaction and engagement with that. That'd be awesome. Um, one of the things I personally uh, look for is, like I mentioned, summer activities for the kiddos. Um, I've heard, I've never sent my kids, but I've heard that you guys have a pretty cool summer camp is thing for for kiddos of all ages is yes that, okay. yes yes and registration is starting up but we keep the kids uh, moving all day long going to different activities using the pools going to parks and um, just a whole bunch of different activities uh, to keep them busy throughout Good. the summer that's what they need mine yes. especially yeah mm -hmm. that's awesome uh, also one of the things i saw which is really cool is are you guys offering a new uh, boxing program or it's yes, something well, like that. It's actually um, hitting its one year anniversary, okay, but it's okay. still pretty. That's still pretty new. Sure. Um, but we have that going on in the evenings, Monday through Thursday. Okay. Um, and it's either non-competitive or competitive, and we send um, our athletes to different um, competitions. Oh, cool. Uh, around the area, and we are going to be hosting one. It's called the Q Town KO. Okay. And that's Saturday, March or May twenty-first at five p.m. at the Crossing. Okay. And we're selling tickets. We have some local um, boxers, but it's going to be bringing in a lot of people from all over the all place, over. and they're going to be competing for belts. And there's going to be lots of awards, and it's going to be it's a it's a pretty big hype, and it's going to be yeah. really good for the community. That's awesome. So even if I don't want to get in the ring, I should come check it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's going to be exciting. That sounds awesome. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, one of the other things that I didn't know you guys offered were uh, I know you cater to. You know, like I said, everybody of different ages and, and capabilities, but uh, you have more specified courses that kind of cater to people with, you know, uh, maybe they're aging adults or they're going through maybe, you know, cancer or cancer treatment or Parkinson's. Um, but I've heard I've heard some good things about that and I didn't know the why offered that. So, yes, yeah. it's it's awesome what we are providing for the community. Um, the we have a great active older adult program. Um, we have a class called Get Fit, and it caters towards all ages, but specifically towards those um, that are active older adults. Uh, that meets twice a week. Okay. Um, but we are also offering Tai Chi, which is kind of hard to find in this area. Yeah, that's awesome. And we offer that once a week, as well as chair yoga. So, you know, when you think of the why, um, we don't want people to get intimidated. We have right. things for 
all ages, all abilities, that um, people can feel welcome walking through our door. That's awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, one thing that I may need is, you know, a class to help me look a little more coordinated on an elliptical. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe maybe we can talk about that yeah, later. Yeah, we, we can go to personal training. <laughs> okay, later. perfect. Um, but as uh, you mentioned, the Parkinson's and uh -huh. uh, strength for survivors. So mm -hmm. um, the Parkinson's class is called Fit to Fight, but we've kind of um, opened it up to really anybody who's struggling with any um, ailment or disease or anything that is causing them uh, to have some side effects. Sure. And so most of our clients are Parkinson's patients and we're seeing great progress in um, the uh, slowing of the disease. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so yes, it's it's growing every day and yeah. it's, it's a really good um, program to offer. And we also have the Strength for Survivors, and that is open to anyone who has been diagnosed with cancer. Okay. Uh, we have to get a, a doctor's um, release from them, but okay. um, after we do that, they get a two-month free membership at the Y and a personal trainer to guide them through um, just different exercises to keep them healthy um, throughout their fight against Treatment. cancer. Yeah, that's, and that's amazing. It's, it's free. Free? Yeah, yes. that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. A lot of stuff I didn't know you guys were doing there. It sounds like you guys are going to be hopping this summer. So yes. that's awesome. Yes. Anything else you want to touch on before we? Uh, yeah, well, there's a couple things. Okay. Um, there's We have a brand new class and it's um, new to Quincy, Illinois, and it's called High Fitness. Okay. Um, it's bringing old school aerobics back to really oh, popular, nice. hyped up music. Yeah. We have an amazing instructor um, and that is being offered twice a week okay. at the Y. And that's, is that like, that's indoors, that's, but yeah, you're sweat. That's you're awesome. Sweat. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Is it like the step? Is it have you don't step? Have, no, no, you step? don't okay. have the step, but you are, you are, you are moving okay. and you're moving to really good music. Yeah. Um, that's almost more up my alley because yeah. I think the step kind of like the elliptical throws me off sometimes, but yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun, good. but yes, that's it, awesome. you will be sweating by the end of that's it. That's good. That's what we need, right? Yes, to get back yes. in shape where to even, you know, maybe the summer will motivate us to get back there, but some people don't need it. Maybe it's just to get, to get back on, tra on track with our health. So yes. that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, Y's offering a lot of great things this yeah. summer and we hope that, you know, people will that's awesome. walk through our doors and we can show them what we have. Yeah, that's great. Well, I appreciate you being here with us. And like I said, it sounds like you guys are going to be hopping and maybe you'll see my kiddos there this summer. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks well, for having me. Yeah, thank you. Beth McKenzie with uh, the YMCA. Uh, we appreciate her stopping by and giving us a little more information on the Y and what it has to offer. Uh, we'll have more of uh, Tuesday Daily Muddy right after this. A great night's sleep starts at Harvey's Furniture. Harvey's is your home for industry-leading handcrafted mattresses from Bemco, Spring Air, and Chatham & Wells. Twin, full, queen, and king, we have a full selection of in-stock mattresses to fit your needs. No waiting, get it today, and as always, free delivery. You deserve a better night's sleep. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. As I mentioned earlier, my day job is primarily done at home, uh, but this week I will be visiting the St. Louis office, so I unfortunately will be missing a few days of uh, the Daily Muddy this week. But have no fear, Muddy River News publisher Bob Goff will be in the chair. I definitely love doing this and will miss you all for a couple of days, but I will be back. So join Bob tomorrow for more Daily Muddy.